Zach, Rocky Mountain Ambassador, coming to you from Colorado, the great state, aliens, pickles, and ganja, you know it, and J.D. Hammer, red Ricky fog lights, going in this dolphin nose on my 97 EG2, what do we have for you, these bad boys, glass, Ray Briggs, What else do we have for you? This fancy push button. Click, 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 click. Yeah, getting all this stuff off the Discord. Yeah, you guys should check it out. I'm sure Brad's gonna link it down here by my uh, rough bumper. We'll fix that later. Anyways, what am I doing here? Why am I here, not Brad? Well, good question. So Brad and I were talking tonight and we realized there's not a YouTube video on installing these JDM fog lights with a JDM wiring harness into a USDM 97 dolphin nose front bumper. So here we are. We're going to show you guys that today and I hope you enjoy the video. Um, thanks to old souls, Alex, uh, Scrub, everybody in Discord who's helped this out and, you know, kind of hooked me up with these uh, items through our buying and selling in Discord. Um, it's a great thing. Um, I, I scoured the web. I, this is hard to find. Um, yeah, it was pricey, sure. Um, I think I'm going to be happy with the end result. The plug and play of all the wiring I did today was super awesome. Um, so sorry, you're not going to get to see a lot of that install. I'm going to walk you through what I did do today prior to talking to Brad about making this video and coming to you guys and showing you, um, yeah, uh, real deal JDM fog light wiring harness bracket fog light and a dolphin nose. Why does it exist? I don't know. Tons of people have done it before me. I'm no genius. I just want to share what uh, the Discord's bringing me and kind of be the ambassador for you guys and show you the things I'm learning along the way in my process as well. At least the things we think that are relevant, interesting, and are like going to connect with you guys. Hopefully Brad will have me more in the future. Um, hopefully I do more cool things that we want to do this with in the future. Um, nevertheless, here's the video. Hope you guys enjoy all right, guys, here we are in the car. Um, shout out Chris Sadowski. How about this uh, target brace? Pretty sweet. Well, um, I've already removed the console. Um, let me flip this camera around so you guys can see. Guys, so we're in the car. Already pulled the console. Uh, again, already done a bit of this wiring. So we'll get going and uh, show you what I've done here. So we've got this fancy switch. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's going to go right beside the e-brake. Click, click. So anyways, um, that's one end of really the first bundle I started with. I wanted to, you know, get the switch in its right location, um, kind of get everything ran to the fuse box and go from there. So I started with this bundle. We got one wire or one set of wires that's coming out to the switch here. I kind of went down and under here. You can see, um, let me get a little lantern going under here so we can see a little better. Um, that bundle of wires comes to here. So what we have on the end of that bundle, you know, I've already kind of tucked it and zip tied stuff up under the dash there. Um, but I just basically brought it through so you guys can see a little better right up in there. Um, yeah, brought it through, zip tied it up and we come to the end of this wire. Well, we've got this relay with a ground. Um, this guy here is going to connect to the bundle that... The second bundle that goes from your fuse box to all the way under the hood. Um, we will get to that one in a minute. And then we've got these guys here. Um, one of them has a fuse. I'm assuming that's the constant power, the little uh, two wired one. Um, I'm imagining that one is going back to my switch. Um, you know, no real instructions exist on this. We found out um, through somebody, shout out Old Souls. I uh, can't quite remember the guy's name he was talking to on Instagram, but uh, 
these kits didn't come with instructions evidently when they were sold in Japan. So now we'll crawl down. What do we got going on up under here? We've got a fuse panel. Um, as you guys can see, these ones right, right up here. Um, these ones, these five, those are accessory ports. Um, so we'll do a little linking um, with some of the information that we found. Your first two on the far left are going to be constant powers. Then we're going to jump to the middle one. It's going to be power when the key is on only. Um, the fourth one from the left, that one's going to be attached to your headlights. When your headlights come on, um, it'll trigger that port. And finally, the far one on the right, it's also going to be another, um, another key activated um, port. So essentially, when your key is in on position, it's going to allow power through. Um, what I was told via Alex was number 16 and 17. You can see them there. The two like oddball fuses out right there. Um, I guess you have to have a fuse in 16 and 17. I'm assuming that's sending power up to those accessory ports. Um, not quite sure. Haven't played with it yet. We're going to play with this. We're going to plug it in all kinds of ways and see what happens. Um, you know, in my test run, I did it uh, plugging these two guys here into the uh, key on it ports. I want to be able to turn these fog lights on um, without my headlights on. And I didn't want them to go to constant power um, just in case it was anything that would drain the battery. So for me personally, I'm gonna end up going into the orange ports. Um, that should make a little bit of sense when Old Souls, uh, you know, pops up the description there of what we found. Um, anyways, that's your uh, first bundle of wires. So that first bundle, again, your switch over here by the e-brake, down through, up under the dash, tidy everything up, zip tie it up there, make it nice. We've got a relay, a ground. This guy is going to go to the uh, wire under your hood. And then you've got these that are going in your accessory ports on the fuse box. Um, so next up, we're gonna have this guy. Um, that's the end that's gonna connect to this little blue wire here. Um, let me get my phone right. So those two are gonna connect. This one just simply, um, you know, I got it over here by the fuse box. It goes all the way under the dash, and I will show you guys some more. Alrighty, so we're back under the hood, talking about this second wire. Um, there is going to be this guy right here by your battery. Um, it's kind of down and below it on the right. Um, punches through the firewall. Luckily, I had this speaker wire going through there from uh, where somebody had installed an amp prior. So. Kind of already had a hole there. It was super nice. Um, so anyways, I back fed that second wire. It is literally just a bundle. Um, you guys just saw the one end um, by the fuse panel that connects. And then we're going to have the other end down here that's going to connect to this guy that's going in the bumper. Um, so again, super awesome, super easy connections. You can see all those two pew, 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 plug in. Um, so yeah, so I back fed it. From here, down and through, um, show you guys where that comes out inside of the vehicle. Um, sorry for my tight space, probably bad camera. Man, I've been doing this alone. Um, but anyways, uh, using the tripod when I can, kind of all over the place when I can't. So that guy comes out right down here under your glove box. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, let me get a little better view. But yeah, right up in here. And so I tucked it, turned it, and brought it back um, through the dash back there, kind of at the feet, back up and under. And then again, it runs all the way under, tidied everything up, brought it out over there. Um, it should be this guy right here. Again, it's going to plug in to the blue wire down there. Boop, boop. They go together. See? Boom, through the dash. We're gonna come around to the other side. It goes down and under, up under the glove box. And again, guys, I will show you in the hood here, under the hood. Um, right out of the 
hole through the firewall by your battery. I just kind of loop mine around. Um, I have ABS, have the EG2. Um, so kind of just tucked it under and around all this ABS stuff. Maybe one day I'll delete that, who knows. Um, brought it down to here where I'm going to end up connecting it to the next. Um, so yeah, now that you guys have seen this wiring kit and see how it works, um, hopefully that explains a, quite a bit. We'll get into quite a bit more detail as we continue this install and we start plugging things up. I will definitely go into a lot more detail of where I am putting on my grounds, how I'm actually uh, connecting this in the fuse panel, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, All right, guys, what's up? Um, we're back for the evening again. Um, we're just gonna keep plugging away at this thing. Why not? I'm here, excited about doing it. Don't really have anything else going on. It's cold in Colorado. Not working tonight. Um, so, kind of to give you guys an idea of where I'm at. Uh, we're gonna show you some wiring. We're gonna show you the wiring of uh, this third harness. I've kind of already got it tucked in here. Just kind of been looking around and playing around before I started videoing this. So I didn't look like an absolute moron who didn't have any idea of what he was talking about. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing now, I left the front bumper here because I just wanted to kind of like lay out where are these fog lights going to land? Where do I need, you know, my ground? Where do I need my plug to land? Where do I need this side plug to land? What's going to be the easiest, most available um, for this to, you know, plug and play once I get these brackets in, get them into the bumper itself and go to slap all this back on and just kind of plug it up and wrap this video up for you guys. Um, so what I'm kind of seeing is essentially your fog lights are gonna land somewhere near. You can see that black piece on that side. There's another one right over here. Um, fog lights are gonna land like just inside of those, kind of either side, right around that black piece. Um, so that'll give you a good idea. Um, fog lights also, you know, come with six inches, eight inches or so, I don't know. I have a hard time judging. Um, so does the harness. So we're gonna kind of tidy this up, get this thing strapped up there, have it kind of hanging down in that area. Go ahead and get that ground hooked up. Um, zip tie all this up and pretty much have it ready for these guys. Um, yeah, I'll walk you guys through what I'm doing, but I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, thanks for bearing with my horrible uh, photography skills also. I'm actually way better at still shots and videos. This is the first video I've ever done, ever been a part of. Kind of weird putting myself in front of this camera, but here we are. Um, so yeah, I got a little tripod I'm going to be using at times too. So bear with me guys, I'll be moving this thing around so I can show you better. Grab my phone. Again, all of this is shot on an iPhone. Um, yeah, I don't have fancy equipment, I don't have anything. I just figured, hey, this is worthy for you guys to see, the world to see. So here goes nothing. Um, we're gonna have this uh, third harness here. It's gonna have the uh, sweet sticker. I should show you guys that guy uh, from Japan. Um, it's the actual harness. So this plug here is going to go all the way over to the driver's side. Um, Again, we're going to kind of drop it down over here somewhere, shoop, let it uh, hang, and the uh, other, so you've got plenty of room here, guys. Um, you know, again, these fog lights are going to kind of be down in here, so I'm going to be running this and tacking everything back there. Um, plan on showing you where I'm going to, again, hook up the ground, how this goes back up under to there, um, to connect the one from the fuse panel into the underside of the hood. And yeah, I'm just going to get after it and um, hope you guys enjoy um, watching me run wires. I don't know, pretty boring stuff. I'm sure old souls will speed this thing up for us. So here we go. <music>
that's all we're after. We're again just kind of trying to mock this up again. I I really like that up. Um, I'll hit that here in a second. Um, so yeah, let's go under the hood now. Raise this uh, tripod up and or maybe just use it as a selfie selfie stick and show you guys what I got going on here. So we've got this end coming out um, here under the hood. So yeah. Um, kind of going to be tough to video i'm doing my best guys but those two this one here which you can't really see um maybe you can see it right there and this guy are going to connect um and then we're going to be pretty much there Alrighty, it's a little tight in my garage but i'm doing my best moving this camera around trying to get angles that i can show you guys um you're probably not going to be able to see it but there's basically a male and female end here um those two are just gonna literally plug into one another um you know i don't like i don't like that open connection being there i'm probably gonna come back and either uh shrink wrap it electrical tape it something i'm definitely gonna electrical tape it um show you a little better what i'm looking at here guys so here we go um, well, you can kind of see it. There we go. Now we can see. So yeah, just a super easy little connection here. Um, yeah, super easy connection right there. Um, ended up with a little bit of excess wire in here. Again, sorry for the horrible video on. I'm just gonna Kind of tuck that back under there, get it zip tied up out of the way just so I don't have excess wire hanging around. Um, yeah, just so you guys can see how it connects. All right, just to show you quickly what I did. Um, so there's the connection, just quickly electrical taped it, um, zip tied everything else up back in there. So it's a little more hidden. You just can't see it as easy um, when looking. Yeah, we got everything roughly done up front and we're pretty much there. Um, just kind of waiting for brackets, get those done. Do all the test fitting, tighten everything up, plug everything in, clip all these little zip tie ins. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Alrighty, felt pretty, uh, I say all right a lot. I'm realizing that on camera. Watch a lot of YouTube stuff between car content, golf content, etc. And you know, you're always seeing these people say the same things. Um, I'm sure I'll fall into that. I'm sure you guys will probably poke at me here and there. I'm definitely not gonna do everything correct, um, exactly right definitely going to say stuff crazy. I'm going to make mistakes, but hey, I'm here showing you and that's worth something. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying me being here and not Brad. Um, no offense to Brad. I love watching the guy, um, but I know he was super stoked when I said I wanted to do this and was willing to do it and put myself out there to you guys. Again, I'm only doing this because I feel it's right. Um, it, it, this is the right thing to do. Um, get a video out there, show the content, um, be an ambassador to this car club, um, show you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have the perfect car to be a part of it or our discord. Um, we're here to help and pretty much everybody in there is here to help, you know? Um, so anyways, back to it. I went ahead and clipped the all the zip ties that I had, um, I felt pretty confident in this thing that it's gonna work, everything's gonna hit right. They're not fully tight, but they're pretty tight. I could probably adjust a little bit if needed. Um, but as you can see down, let me get my hand in, oh, right there. Yep, uh, we've got that one coming out, the plug for the ray rig there. Um, and then over on this side, I went ahead and punched that hole and got that wiring tightened up over there, guys. Um, but yeah, we uh, pretty much are wired, ready to go. Um, one thing I noticed when doing this, um, this ground over here was getting a little tight. So I just went ahead and threw an extra zip tie up here. Um, yeah, got that zip tie up. Um, following it back, I went ahead and also taped this guy off and just kind of tucked that wiring. Um, Zip tied it. I still need to clip that zip tie. I'm seeing. Must have forgot it before I started videoing. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying and we'll keep going as we've got things. Yeah. What is up, guys? My brackets just came. Check these things out. Shout out Scrub. He got these things in the mail like in the last week. They're here. 
boom, quick. Appreciate you, bro. It's awesome. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be just doing some little like uh, sanding here and kind of on all this rust. Then I'm gonna paint these things, clean them up, um, spray them in some black. Just a quick rattle can job. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning these up and then we'll get back to an install for you guys. All right, guys, didn't bore you with the whole process. Literally took like five minutes of my time um, just to shiny these bad boys up again, make them look decent. Um, yeah. Uh, so we got these J brackets, um, called J brackets, obviously, uh, it kind of looks like a J. Yeah, you see it. Okay. J brackets. Um, and then we got these guys. These are going to actually attach to the fog. Um, from what I can tell, it looks like, you know, this bar kind of goes behind the fog light. Everything comes in and mounts up like so. All right, guys, a little overkill here, but, uh, you know, we went ahead and taped these off. Um, I like that thought, so I just don't get paint down in those threads. Um, just kind of basic. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back um, outside now. Mountains. Yeah. Snow. I know you love that, Kev. Anyways, we're going to just slap some paint on these guys, um, kind of wipe them down, clean them up, and here we go. what's up we're back how is everybody oh, I'm doing pretty well um, we got these brackets painted yeah I think I did a decent job yeah so that's one J here comes the other yeah pretty decent pretty decent if I do say so back from a hardware store run well the first part of this equation um, just kind of browsing some photos that have been shared with me but this guy here, this H bracket, you got the little bar coming off, the little hook bar thing. If you wanna look in here, you see that little channel? Right in here, yeah. So this back piece is gonna come off. That's gonna go in there. Um, it's on there. See, we want to be able to move this around. Um, yeah, then this will attach to the J bracket. And eventually we will have a, oh, this side, a screw going through here to here with a spring so we can adjust. All right, guys, we got uh, both of these installed. Pretty sweet. Pretty simple. From there. Show you how these things are gonna work. Um, what's essentially going to happen is, so we are going to lock these in. See the three? We've got three and three locking in. And then back over here, um, where's it at? Where you at? This guy here, you see it kind of, let me get that wiring out of the way. Okay, this is where you guys can see it. See how these two hole line up? That's where that spring's gonna go in here so we can actually adjust how these fogs are directed. Um, yeah, we'll keep going. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up and show you what's going on here. All right guys, gonna readjust this camera here so you can see what's going on. Um, essentially, we've got these J brackets. They're gonna oppose each other. They can only go in one way. We've got these three holes here. I'm just gonna literally set them down. Um, again, the holes have to line up. If you try to do it backwards, it's not gonna work. Um, you know, there's only one way these guys can go. The hole is not over here. It's, yeah, you see what I'm doing. Um, super simple. Looks like they just kind of drop in. Um, we're gonna screw those on from the other side um it's gonna take a little arranging here uh show you guys what i've what i snagged from the hardware store while we're here doing this um so what i got to attach mine i found they were uh m80 fine threads um i got these fancy little 
hex guys here though see those are super slick they're gonna be super nice again these will just kind of slide in from the underside here um screw in Alrighty guys, so we got them in. It's kind of nasty in there. I need to clean. Um, anywho, you can see they just went in super simple. Um, yeah, it's very, very easy install. Um, so you guys can kind of see what's gonna happen next. Um, sorry for the horrible camera. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's gonna go in as so, boom, boom. And we're gonna lock everything in. Um, from there yeah so one thing guys i haven't really talked about that is an option um it's something i'm not doing just yet because i don't have a spare of these um maybe in the future i'll grab a spare but just wanted to give this a little shout and a little talk about um yeah essentially what you can do and what is an option um is for yeah Let's say you wanted to have those guys nice and around there, um, kind of hiding some of this bracketing and et cetera. Um, totally an option, guys. Check out the back of these fog light covers. Uh, they come with a nice little cutout there. You can see where that circle cutout is. Again, I'm just kind of not doing this uh, just yet. These little plastic pieces here are like 80 bucks. Um, I just don't know if I want to cut them up yet. You know, I may order a spare off the Ebays or somewhere and cut those up and see what happens. Um, just really didn't want to cut the only ones I have. But totally an option if you want to cut these and also have your uh, little covers around the fog lights. I think it'll be something I will do in the future. But again, I'm going to wait and spend the 80 bucks down the road. Check this out. Ooh. Them red brick glass fog lights. Check them things out. Whoop. Where are we at? Right there. Yeah. How freaking cool. Anyways, guys, I didn't bore you with uh, installing this rear bumper again. Um, no need for you guys to see me just wrench. Um, but that's what we all came to see. How badass is that? Well, I'm going to get inside. We're going to start tidying up the center console. I'm going to show you guys how everything plugs into that fuse box. And we're going to give these babies a test run and fire them up. Just reconnect everything at the fuse panel. Um, show you guys exactly how this connects. It's super easy. It's plug and play. Um, but a little research we did throughout this um, kind of found and told us where to plug these guys in at on those accessory ports to get the desired uh, function that I wanted. Um, you know, there are a couple of options down there. There's going to be five plugs in this accessory, um, accessory plugs in your fuse panel. Um, I'll walk you through those here in a second, explain a little more. But basically, I didn't want constant power going to these things or to the switch in case I forgot to turn the switch off when I got out of the car and then come back to a dead battery and a dead car. Um, you know, I didn't want to have to use them where they only came on with the headlights. Um, so we opted to kind of stay out of that port as well. Um, you know, for me, maybe there's times I'm going to want to cut the fog lights on and not have my headlights on. So, um, you know, there's two ports in this, um, fuse panel that are on these Del Soles that cut on when your key is turned to the on position. For me, that's where I decided that I wanted to go to, um, specifically for the fact if I forgot to press that button, I get out of the car, turn the key off and go in the house. Um, I really want these to go off and don't want my battery drain. So um, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to crawl in the car. It's going to be tight. It's probably going to be dark down in there. I'm going to do my best to show you guys and explain this. I'm sure we're going to be linking tons of info down below. Maybe Brad will throw some up on the screen. But nevertheless, if you guys made it this far, glad you're here. Glad you're watching. All right, everybody. So yeah, I've got the center console completely put back together. Um, did a couple other cool things while I was in here. Um, 
did my JDI main relay kill switch. Also did a JDI ghost lock on this thing while we were in here. So needless to say, I tore out all the plastic panels in this thing. Um, have kind of, you know, tried to knock a bunch of stuff out at once. We also did a JDI ghost box. Super cool. Plan on putting gauges there in the future. Um, got the little gauge holder there from Resto Tuner. It's super dope. Triple Souls has one. I was blessed enough to be able to drive her Del Sol um, earlier this year in April when I went back to North Carolina for my sister's wedding. And Triple had one of these. Uh, really sold me on it. She also had the ghost box. I really dug these. Um, you know, future plans, hopefully boosting it. Either way, we're going to be throwing some gauges in here um, just to fill this void. But for now, I really like that. I also fixed the little flip-up thing while I had the center console out. Um, coolest thing, though, to me, the button. But we're going to get in here, guys. What you all want to see is where this hooks up. Um, so I'm going to crawl in here, give you the best of my ability. Um, so we've got these two plugs that are going to go in your accessory ports your accessory ports are going to be these five up here up top just plug and play one and two first two are going to be constant power the middle one there in the five is going to be your key on power the number two you can see it pretty big up under there i actually got a clear picture here number two there this one right there um number two is going to be when your headlights are on and finally uh it looks like three on the far end far right plug-in is also going to be when your key is turned to the on position second thing you need to do is add right in here on number 16 and 17 you can see it down low there you need to throw some fuses in there i just threw a 10 and 15 that's what i found that's what i could grab that's what I had at the house. Um, not sure if that's right. Uh, again, can't find a ton of information on this stuff. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and plug this up, show you guys how it works. Lastly, we've got a uh, relay here with the ground coming off of it. The ground I'm going to throw in here on the side. You can see I got some stuff grounded right there already. That's where we're going to put that ground. We're going to kind of tuck everything back up in this hole. There's a nice little hole in there. We're going to push the carpet back and we should be ready to roll, guys. Um, again, I'm not going to video this. It's kind of tight, but I'm going into my key only. So I'm going to hit number one that you guys see right here in the middle. And I'm going to hit number three all the way over here on the right. Um, those will just allow this to turn on when the key is in the on position. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. Well, just hit me. I forgot one last wire. You see this blue wire here? Well, where we ran from the dash over. Let me find it, actually. It's kind of tucked up in here. Where we ran from the dash over. Um, and it may be... No, I'll find it up in here. Um, but that wire is tucked up in there somewhere. Um, but basically, it's going to connect here. Same as the connection under the hood. I'll come back to it and show you guys here in just a second and show you just exactly. That just kind of plugs in. You know, I'll go ahead and electrical tape it so that connection can't hit anything, ground out, pop a fuse, um, and we're gonna be ready to Yeah, it was hanging right in the video portion of this, but you can see those are two just easy connectors, a little blue into this. Again, this wire just goes from over here by your fuse panel through the dash under the hood um, connects to the last wiring that actually goes under the front bumper. Okay, we're plugged in. Um, as you guys can see up top there, um, exactly where I was telling you, one and three, the middle and the far right, key on only. Um, we drop the ground in over here. The ground's coming through the top there. Um, and then from there, you know, I've got this little bit of excess wiring hanging here. I'm just going to kind of tuck all that up under there, um, get it zip tied up and out of the way. Fuse panel back on and we should be ready to test and fire these things up. Okay, everything's tucked back up under there. Um, fuse panels back in. As you can see, I pulled the carpet back over. It's just kind of out of the way, hidden nice. Um, we're going to shoot for this first uh, fire up, see what they look like. Um, here goes nothing, guys. So 
the key to the ohm position. We're gonna press this fancy little button and it lights up. We got yellow lights. And for the final video, um, as you can see, we still got the key in the ignition, it's still turned on, light's still on. Let's just make sure I plugged them in the right place and this thing works. Boop, cut the key off and fogs are off. Um, yeah, so if you forgot the button, you know, I like that spot because that's what's gonna cut them off. Um, again, when I am forgetful, stoner, Colorado man, and I uh, just get out of my car and walk away. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty stoked with this install. Um, again, it was a lot of money. I completely get that these aren't for everybody. Um, they're definitely not gonna be for everybody. Um, a lot of people do, you know, all kinds of aftermarket stuff here. Um, it's good and great by all means. Um, I dig those too. Uh, you know, I'm nothing against it, um, at all. I just kind of wanted to ball out here and I've kind of got a little bit different vision for this car. Um, and you know, they kind of fit that vision that I have some really high end, cool JDM stuff, stuff that, you know, isn't out there, isn't readily available. Um, it does take some searching. Uh, Discord was huge for that. It provided pretty much everything I need, gave me tons of information. So yeah, guys, uh, really appreciate you hanging in there, um, making it to the end of this video. Um, I, I couldn't be more happy with this install, the way they look, the way they work. I'm sure I'm gonna have some tweaking. Um, again, I'll probably end up cutting out some fog light covers and slapping those in there just so you can't see the screws and kind of the gunk I still need to get in there and clean, which will be happening soon. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked guys. These things are sweet. Um, super easy to adjust. You can see the spring there. Uh, so yeah, th these things are dope. Um, highly recommended and highly recommend you guys get on Discord. If you're even interested about old souls, um, you've got an old soul, you know, you're thinking about getting one, come check us out, ask us questions. There's tons of knowledge in there. Um, by no means am I anywhere close to the most knowledgeable in there. Um, you know, I, I'm just here to kind of report on what I'm doing, show you guys some cool stuff that we're working on, that we're trying to cook up uh, behind the scenes. Again, hopefully Old Souls has me again. Um, really appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys for being here, for checking us out on YouTube, for checking out the Discord, supporting us any way you can. Um, really hope you enjoyed this and enjoyed the build uh, or, or enjoying the installation of these fog lights, have enjoyed it. Um, again, everything's back in place. Um, we're ready to rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching.